Miss Deanna. How are y'all doing? Hope you're doing good. It is Thursday, October the 26th. And the pretty little kitty, he's not so little, but the pretty kitty you saw at the beginning is Oliver. He's one of my indoor cats. So the only cat you ever see out here on videos is Sebastian. Um, I have one, two, three, four more in the house. Oliver, Sweet Pea, Athena, and Salta. But Oliver was taking a nap and I thought he looked so cute. So I made a little, I took a little video of him. I turned it into a short for a different channel, but that's a whole other channel. Anyway, which is small, but I hope y'all are well. It is cloudy mostly cloudy the sun peaks out a little bit but not much i don't know what the temperature is the wind's blowing so it's not too bad um i was starting to get a little warm when i did some weed eating i'm going to tell y'all what i did on uh october the 6th here in just a minute but now that i mentioned weed eating oh gracious i had to get up <laughs> i'll show you what i did um my boyfriend glued the the piece back into the uh weed eater so at the moment it's working but anyway I tried to weed eat around my raspberry here but I need to figure out how to tie this raspberry up and I know I've seen um, raspberry trellises on I think it was raspberry and blackberry but raspberry for sure on a couple of YouTube videos but um, they're all made out of metal and I don't have anything any way to do that but I do have this I did, oh, sorry y'all, I'm trying to back up and not fall, I hung out some stuff too, too dry, um, this clothesline, and I thought maybe I could figure out how to hang something down, because that's what, well no, that's not how, exactly how they do it in the videos, I think the videos, the things they, they hang, they, their trellises go this way, but, I could hang something down down and then tie the raspberry vine to it maybe but I don't know what to use and I don't I just don't know so right now it's sprawling and it probably needs some more it probably needs some compost on it and you know just a little love but I tried to weed eat around it but I didn't want to trim the whole thing up I didn't want to cut the raspberry vine and then I did a little bit around here, around here, like, eh, there we go. Then I cut down some of the grass that was along here, along these plants. And I know it's hard to see on the, on the uh, camera, but I also did my walk where I walk. I tried to get most of where I walk. Like, you're going to see dog poop, I'm sorry. Um, like to the bird baths get some of that cut around my my container areas i didn't do this one real well but i did cut some of it and oh look, the neighbor has a magnolia tree and all these little things they fall in the yard and they hurt if you step on them and i'm not barefoot but it hurts your foot um to step on them with your shoes I cut my path here and then along this one and around here then there was a bunch of grass growing here grass and weeds so I cut around here I started um, I'm I got both my butternuts up one I just set in the greenhouse to dry the other one I, I think I put the smaller one in there yesterday that's the one that was at the beginning of this video. I'm going to take it in the house. And the big one I'm going to leave in the greenhouse till tomorrow. Um, anyway, I cut around here. Yeah, I weed eat it in sandals, no less. Well, that hurts your feet if something slings on them. Um, cut all this grass. A bunch of this grass. And I started cutting into this, too. And I ran out of string and I didn't feel like messing with it. So I just put it up. 
I'll deal with it another day. But it looks, it looks a little bit better. It's not the greatest, but at least I'm not walking in grass that is too tall because I do not like walking in tall grass. Not in my sandals and I come out here in my sandals. So anyway, that's what I've done today so far besides some housework. Um, back to my one thing a days. I did on October, the, uh, not the 6th, the 9th. I might have said the 6th, but it was the 9th. I moved the tomato, some of my tomato plants that I had transplanted. Harley's following me. <laughs> uh, let's see which ones I moved. I moved this one, which is getting pretty tall. And I moved to this one. I think I moved this one. But it's it's where it's going to live for now. Or until it dies. But I usually keep my transplants in this area. Just to give them a day or two. Or a few days depending. To recover from transplanting. There's one that needs to be moved. And... The two over here where we just were. I moved these over here to where they're going to live and I need to tie my see that's so pretty I need to tie this up because that tomato's that tomato's pretty tall that's a most likely that's a sunrise bumblebee and I need to tie this up so it's not leaning on not leaning on that tomato let me see if I have something in the greenhouse to tie it I have something in the house it's just I don't want to go in the house I go in the house I'll sit down and if I sit down in the house I won't get anything done out here and then what else oh, oh and on October the 9th I worked on my seed saving so I have seeds in the house that I've been like drying so some of them needed to be put it in bags little baggies that I have and labeled cut some flower heads off to finish drying stuff like that but that's what I did that day oh my goodness and I don't even know what day that was October the 9th was a Monday and there's my little butternut it's not perfect and it still needs to cure and hopefully it'll start to yellow up a little bit more um, I'm afraid to leave it out here too long if it gets too hot so but it's not perfect something this is where it was laying in my little what are those little things hot dog holders or nacho boats or something uh, just to keep it up off of the wet ground but anyway um something was starting to chew on it and i think it's some kind of caterpillar because i found a bunch of them on the big butternut which I'll show you in my still messy greenhouse. It's going to be messy until it gets colder. And then I have to absolutely straighten it up to move stuff in here. But this is my big one. It's pretty good size. It's heavy. But it has some spots on it. And it had some green. Really like light green colored caterpillars on it. Uh, so I got all of them off. But it's going to sit here for a day or so. And I'll cut the stuff off of it and then take it in the house but i want those scars on it i want to make sure those are dry before i take them in the house all right y'all oh i don't know what else i'm gonna do out here look for something to tie that to where's my finger tithonia plant up and maybe transplant some cabbage or something if I can find a container I have a couple containers over there I can move <sighs> but I'm worn out already from some of the stuff work I did in the house to now and it's three o'clock <sighs> it's so it's so hard to do all this stuff when you're out of shape overweight getting old it's quite difficult 
Oh, that breeze feels good at least. And Harley, there's my Harley. Harley, say hello. <laughs> He's such a good boy. I was out here yesterday doing some stuff. Couldn't tell you what, but I wrote it down. Uh, or I put it in my phone so I'd know when I go to make a video. But I heard a little bit of rustling in the back behind the fence. And so did he. And apparently it was not something he liked because he stood up, hair up on his back, and he growled. So I don't know what it was. It could have been another dog. Surely it wasn't somebody back there because that's private property back there. It belongs to um, a person that lives on the... See, I live on a paved road. I mean, on a dirt road, and there's a paved road that way. And the person lives on that land, on that paved, off that paved road. So, that's private property. So, surely somebody wasn't wandering around back there. Hopefully not. Anyway, y'all. Y'all like, subscribe, and share, please. I would absolutely appreciate it. I help my channel grow. And, um... If you have any... I don't know, any... If you see something going on in this garden that I could do a little better and not spend a bunch of money and something I haven't thought of, let me know, please. I would appreciate it because it is a hot mess and I try, but I don't have a bunch of money to go out buying all the stuff that people buy for their gardens when there's other ways to do it. <coughs> and I may just not have thought of it. And if you know of a way I can deal with that raspberry... That would be awesome. Oh, also, I think I'm going to cut that. <coughs> that kakuzi squash down. I did give it some swamp water. Was it <coughs> yesterday or the day before? I don't remember what day. I don't. I wrote it down. But anyway, um, I gave it some swamp water. So I'm going to give it a week from the day that I did it. And see if it perks up. Might maybe I can get another squash off of it. Maybe I can't. But if it does not perk perk up from that swamp water, I'm cutting it down. It's a hot mess. It looks ridiculous. Uh, there's not much insect life living on it anymore. <coughs> and uh, my and my uh, clotheslines need to be tightened. So if it doesn't do well, I'm cutting it down. All right, y'all. I think that's about it. Y'all have a good one. Bye now.